right. So the answer to the question, are we prosecuting police officers? We're not. That's not what we're doing. That's not what we're doing. But in terms of what, can we make change? Can, can we help you fix the police department? I really think we can. I really think we can. And, and to, to comment on the question of how long it's going to take, I hope it's going to happen fast, but I don't want to lie to you, right? When a police department is really broken, it's when something's been happening for generations, it's not going to be fixed tomorrow. It's not. It takes a long time to fix it. Wait, excuse me. Yes, sir. If you know it's been happening for generations, why are you just not here? My concern is this. I definitely think that there are too many white police officers in our community. We need to change that. They cannot relate to us, so we, that has to change. Go ahead, Mr. Knight. You guys are you this morning, and I'd like to ask these officials from the Justice Department, of course, and everybody with you, what's a round table? with Chicago Police Department, what's a round table? You guys have been here since, when did Ms. Hutch send you here? She sent you here? December the 7th of 2015. What have you guys been doing? So let me tell you, a round table, anytime there's a shooting, the officer that did the shooting, his field supervisor, the watch commander, a city official, round table. They sit there and they come up with a story. I'm not going to say they tell them what to say, but they definitely tell them what not to say. That's how eight officers can come up with a story that this young man was running at them with a knife raised in a striking position. Damn. The video told a totally different story. We hear about Tamir Rice, the murders. We hear about Alton Sterling. We hear about a lot of the murders that have happened on a national basis. But what about the untold stories? Right. While the Department of Justice is here, we want to send a clear message to the DOJ that, yes, we want you to do your job, but we will not rest. The community cannot rest until that job is thorough and complete. And what would it take to make it thorough and complete? We want to see prosecutions of police officers. That's right. Especially, more specifically, when they commit murders in our communities. We haven't seen it. We are here in America. Child abuse is not accepted. Torture is one of the elements right within the Illinois state law. What did the mayor say? May 2015, once torture reparations was provided to torture survivors, he stated that tortures occurred in the city of Chicago. We still have 100 plus men still languishing in our prisons. Guess who's going to pay for that? Us, the taxpayers. May 13, 2013. Me, my one-year-old child, my eight-year-old child at the time were victims of police brutality. I was a police officer seven years in Atlanta, but we never did anything like that's going on in Chicago. Never. This is crazy. Um, what can you guys do about this? Police officers need to be drug tested. Police officers need to have a mental health evaluation. You would get rid of so many police officers that way that it doesn't work. We are tired of being treated like political footballs. And this must stop. Once again, my name is Mark Clements. I am administrator with the campaign to end the death penalty. Thank you. I want to ask this question. I want to make it real clear. If you're the Department of Justice, do you have more authority than the Chicago Police Department? If you don't, who does?